My guest today is Mylika Booz, lacrosse player. So, Mylika, where are you from? Originally from Louisiana, but I reside in Baltimore, Maryland. Okay, and what's uh, what's home like compared to here? Um, it's a lot more subtle here. Baltimore's kind of hectic. This kind of reminds me of Louisiana. Small town. Um, everyone knows everybody. I like it. Yeah. Okay. What, how did you hear about Missouri Valley? Uh, the head coach here, Kevin Totero, was the men's assistant coach at my JUCO where I played. Okay. What JUCO was that? Uh, CCBC, the Community College of Baltimore County. Okay. Now, how long have you started or have you been playing lacrosse? Um, as of now? It would be four years and like two months. Yeah. Four years. What, what made you get into lacrosse? Uh, the, the coach at my Juco, his name was Tom, and um, he just randomly asked me, came up to me and was like, hey, you look pretty strong. You should play lacrosse. And I usually played volleyball, and it was during the springtime, so I was like, sure, why not? I'm in my off season. So I tried it. Okay. So what have you done so far with lacrosse like, as far as accomplishments? Um, I'm an NJCAA All-American, um, first team, uh, all-conference uh, at JUCO and here. Uh, I was first, what else? I don't know, it's been a lot. <laughs> okay, so I know you've had to battle for your eligibility this year, so can you just, I know it's a lot, but can you um, just maybe highlight a few points of what happened and why you had to go through all of that? Um, basically, they were saying that I had been in school for more than 10 semesters, and since I was full-time, that I had used all my eligibility, not knowing, and basically, my my first year here from 2014 to 2015 here at Valley, I had, um, I was sick. I got really sick where I needed blood transfusions, needed iron infusions, um, had still taken all types of medication. and But I never knew that I had to make my medical, you know, situation aware to the to NAIA in order for me to play because we didn't even have a season that year, really. But um, basically, I just had to write an appeal up. Uh, Ms. Marsha, the eligibility coordinator, had to write, a, write another appeal she had to file a document. It was called a um, what was it? a release form, something about like my transcripts that they had to send in, and just to basically line everything up and coordinate. You know, as far as like if I was telling the truth of like being sick, so I had to get documentation, all of my medical uh, history. I had to had a doctor's summation. It was a lot. <laughs> So how did you figure out all the medical issues was going on? Was it like during practice or something like that? Yeah, like I was always tired. I couldn't I couldn't move sometimes. Like my back would just like stiff up. Um, like I would have like really bad headaches and stomach pains. And like we just thought it was like, oh, the common cold or something like that or the flu. So I just kept like taking like day quilt or night quilt to sleep it off. But I was still like tired and then like every time I would run like I feel like I didn't have like like I couldn't sustain like I could never finish the way I wanted to and that like bothered me so when I went to the doctors I originally went for an ear infection and um they brought back blood results and he was like oh I don't even understand why you're walking your blood levels are so low and I had to have an emergency blood transfusion and I had five rounds of iron infusions for over the course of like three months Okay. So you're back and healthy and back on the field, correct? Yeah, I just had my last blood transfusion and iron infusion about a week and a half ago. So I'm back, and I feel great. I'm excited. Okay. So what are you looking most forward to um, this season? Aha, uh -huh. playing rival teams, especially Ottawa, because we lost to them. That was when we lost our goalie. That was a big game, and just looking forward to the players. Like, as far as our team, like, our chemistry this year is a lot better than it was last year, and I feel like we can go really far. I honestly think that we can go to nationals. So, looking forward to it. Okay. <clears throat> My guest has been Malika Booz, lacrosse player. I'm Taylor Gilkey reporting for KMVC.